Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a kick and ban command. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we start the actual code, I just want to say that I did code a Discord bot. Um, it's an essential moderation bot with some fun community commands as well. Um, so if you're interested in that or you want to support me or my uh, bot and my coding, um, please upvote it and add it to your servers. That would mean a lot. So let's go ahead and actually jump right into the code. All right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and create a kick um, command. We're going to do kick first. So we can go ahead and actually um, make our command. And then we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of if statements and um, uh, definitions just like we did uh, for the warn command. So we can do if command equals 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 kick. Then we can open that up. And then we can go ahead and define member. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to start by doing const member equals message dot mentions dot members dot first then outside of that we can do two lines and we can do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot git and then right here we're going to define argument um so up here um you either did args you either defined args or you either defined arguments um i did both but i like to use argument more um so whatever you used for your uh, message array variables that's what i would recommend using um, but you could use args or argument, but I'm going to use args. So you can do argument. I mean, I'm going to use argument. <laughs> um, argument zero. Outside of that, we can do two lines. We can do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot find. Um, then we can do x arrow function x dot user. And we can do dot username dot two lower case parentheses. And then we can do equals 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 we'll go over a little bit here then we can go ahead and do arguments dot slice zero uh dot join uh we can do an empty string just like that two lines then we can do x dot user dot user name equals 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 arguments zero just like that um we are missing a parentheses there so we're gonna go ahead and do that so now what we're going to do is we're basically going to define a bunch of permissions. Um, so make sure you follow along here because this is very important. Otherwise, anybody will be able to uh, kick people from your server and you do not want that. So we can go ahead and do if message uh, message dot member dot permissions dot has. Then we can do kick members uh, just like that. And then right outside we can do return message dot channel dot send. Then we can do you do not have permission to execute this command just like that um so basically what this is going to do is if the person does not have uh permissions um the kick members permission in their role then this command will or this message will be sent in the channel so that prevents people from uh kicking people who do not have the required permissions so then what we can go ahead and do is we can do if message dot guild dot me dot permissions dot has and then we can do kick members one more time outside of that we can do return message dot channel send i do or i don't have permission to kick people so this is going to be um basically if your bots uh, does not have the required permission. So if you added the bot to the server for some reason without administrator or without kick members, uh, then this command will kick in. Um, so the bot doesn't crash, but this shouldn't actually ever kick in, but um, it's just good to have it. So then we can do if um, message.member equals 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 member, we can do return message.channel.send you cannot kick yourself so what this is going to do is if the uh person who's doing the command tries to kick them kick themselves then uh this message will kick in because you don't want your moderators kicking themselves that would not be good um and if you've noticed a pattern um it's this command is or what we're doing right now is the exact same as what we did in the warn command um so if you have the warn command already uh, you can go ahead and copy and paste that, but if you don't, just follow along. So then what we can go ahead and do is we can do if member.kickable. Then we can do uh, return. 
message dot channel dot channel channel dot send i cannot kick um this user uh as they have perms over me so basically um what this is gonna do is if uh the person who is trying to kick somebody um tries to kick somebody with perms over them or over the bot um this message will kick in um giving this error message and also preventing the bot from crashing okay so we have one more if statement to make so we can do if argument zero return message return message dot channel send we can do you must specify someone in this command so basically what this is gonna do is i'm sure you can guess it but if you try to warn a non-existent user or you try to execute the command um without mentioning somebody this will kick in um so yeah that's it for our if statements now we can go ahead and actually define the reason so we can do um right here we can do let reason equals arguments dot slice one and then we can do dot join and then we can do outside of the empty string we can do no reason given you can customize this message if you want but i'm just gonna go with that uh, so then, right here, we can go ahead and make both of our embeds. Um, so, the first embed that we're going to make is our DM message. Uh, so, what we're going to go ahead and do is const DM embed. You can name that whatever you want, but I'm going to go with a DM embed. We can do new message embed. And then, right outside of that, we can set a description. And then, inside of the description, we can do backticks, white, check, mark, uh, two spaces you were kicked from and then inside this we can do message dot killed dot name and then we can do reason just like that um, then we can go ahead and set a color um, and the color can be blue um, now we're going to go ahead and create one more embed and this embed is the embed that's going to be actually sent in the channel when the member is kicked uh, so we can go ahead and do const embed equals new message embed. And then we can do set description. And then back ticks white check mark one more time. Um, member has been kicked. Kicked. Um, and then we can do reason. Just like that. Um, so now we can go ahead and set a color. Uh, we'll do blue again and our embeds are done so now what we can go ahead and do is we can actually kick the member so we can do member dot kick and then we can do catch error uh message dot channel dot send there was an error kicking this member so what this is going to do is it's actually going to go ahead and kick the member. And then if there's some error for some reason, um, it will go ahead and send that message and it will not kick the member. All right, so now we can go ahead and actually send both of these messages now that the member has been kicked. So we can go ahead and send our first message, um, which is the DM embed. So we can do um, member.send and then we can do inside of this, we can do embeds and then DM embed. That's the... Uh, name of the variable I chose for the DM embed. Um, and then we can do catch error. And then inside this, we can do console.log. And then this user has their DMs off. So what this is going to do is it's going to send uh, the embed to the person who has been kicked. Um, and this embed says that you've been kicked. So it basically tells the person that they've been kicked in their DMs. Um, but then... Uh, if some people do actually have their DMs off and we cannot send messages to them, so it will catch that error and send it to the console, um, and then nothing else will happen. It's just the message won't be sent. Uh, so now we can go ahead and actually send the message in the channel. So we can do message dot channel send embeds, and then we can do embed, um, and then just like that we are done. We don't need any more catch errors. And this should be our kick command. So we can go ahead and actually restart the bot and then go ahead and test the command. All right, so now that we're in our bot testing server and the bot is online, uh, we can go ahead and test a few things. So first, 
We're gonna go ahead and give my main account perms, and then on my main account we can do kick um, my uh, alt account, and then we can do test. So as you can see right here, it says I cannot kick this user as I have perms over me. All right, so then what we can go ahead and do is we can actually try to kick ourselves. So we can do kick um, me and then test. And then as you can see, the error message kicks in that says you cannot kick yourself uh, just like we have here. All right, so I did make a small error in the uh, command. So as you can see, I... Um, kicked the member before actually sending them the DM, so that is a problem. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna copy the DM message, and then we're gonna go ahead and paste it right above the member.kick. Um, so what this is gonna do is, when the command works, it will uh, go ahead and send them the embed, then kick them, and then send this in the channel. Very simple. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and try that now. Okay, so now that we're back in the bot testing server, we can do a uh, kick my main account and then um commands tests for the reason and if we send it uh as you can see it sends the message i am no longer in the server and i have received a dm from the bot um that says you were kicked from bot testing and as you can see i'm no longer in that server um so yeah that is actually how you code your kick command all right so now that we've coded the kick command we can go ahead and code the ban command uh, this video will not have a unbanned command, that will be for the next video. So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to title this kick or uh, ban command. Um, for this, since we already have all of the stuff right here, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're simply going to copy and paste um, this message, the kick command message that we just made. Let's go ahead and copy all the stuff inside of this uh, if statement. Go ahead and copy that. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do if command equals 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 bin, open that up, and then go ahead and paste this in here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and change a few things. So the uh, member variable is fine. So we're just going to uh, change the permissions from kick members to ban members. Uh, we'll change that here too. So we can do ban members. Um, and then right here we can do I do not have permission to ban people. Um, we'll change this to, you cannot ban yourself, I cannot ban this user, and that should be good. So now we can go ahead and change some of our embeds, so you, we can change this to, um, banned, and then we can change this to banned, uh, just like that. Um, and then we can change this to banning, um, just like that. So this should be good. Um, one other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to go down here to where um, we go ahead and kick the member. So we can change this to member.ban. Um, and there we go. That is how you code your ban command. Um, if you were only here for the ban command, um, then I would recommend just watching the kick command, but uh, copy and pasting it. I, I would recommend just doing both. Um, but yeah. So now let's go ahead and restart the bot and uh, test it out. So now that we are back in the bot testing server, what we can go ahead and do is we can actually test out the permissions, even though it is the exact same. So we're going to go ahead and try banning myself first. So we can do uh, ban uh, me. And as you can see, it says you cannot ban yourself. We'll go ahead and give my main perms right over into the server. And we can do ban um, uh, Jeffrey. Yeah, we'll do ban um, and we can try that. And as you can see... It says, I cannot ban this user as they have perms over me. So that is working just like it should be. Now let's go ahead and actually ban me on my main. So you can do ban uh, my main, and then we can do testing ban command. We can go ahead and send that. Um, at, oops, I forgot to remove my perms. Um, there we go. So we can do ban me, and then testing ban command. Just like that and as you can see it bans me from the server if we go ahead and enter into our bans it says that i am actually banned and if we go ahead and go to our main account um it says that i was banned um with the reason just like that so that is how you code your ban command all right that is going to wrap up today's video if you guys have any questions on the ban or kick command join my help server in the description below um, please consider adding my Discord bots. All the links for that will be in the description below as well. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.